Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is intended to be a love reading for January, but, you know, I can't make it be a love reading. It is what it is. I am intending it to be a love reading, and we'll go down that road. I tend to find that the love readings tend to resonate more with singles, because if you're in a happily loving relationship, I don't know why you are watching a love reading. Unless you're in denial or something is fake or it's not real or something like that. Then you, you know, some people, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear the truth. So they're, you, you know, they pretend that they're in a happy relationship, you know, whatever. Those people might be watching a love reading. But if you're in a happily ever after love relationship, then you don't need a love reading. So what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn for January? Oh, goodness gracious. I do see the tower, and I know that's not what you want to hear, but I do definitely see the tower. That is a, uh, that is some sort of up destruction, okay, uproar, uh, rude awakening. Something is about to crumble. Something is about to crash. I feel there could be an accident. Um, I know this is a love reading, and, you know, so something could, somebody could get, you know, the light is going to be shown on a situation that causes an uproar and disruption, okay? When you see the tower, we are talking about love, right? So it may have to do with your relationship. Um, adjacent possibilities. So this tells me that you have multiple options. You may need to close one door and go through another. When you get this card, it's time to reevaluate. You need to reevaluate your options. Make sure that you are going in the right direction. Okay? Somebody with the tower, the tower is a false sense of security. And it's funny how I started out this reading. Everything I said at the beginning has a meaning. Somebody may be pretending they're happy when they're not. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Okay, now this is a multiple options. Somebody may be exploring other options, and there may this there may be something to do with a hospital because I feel like this is a hospital hall. So somebody may, uh, if you are single, you or if you're even if you're married, there there may be something to do with a hospital. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what this is, but something to do with a hospital. Oh, we're gonna use the next deck. What do we got for Capricorn? One card, please. The Hangman. How oh, the Hangman is a card of sacrifice. It's a card of hanging on to something. A card of being stuck. You must struggle through whatever it is. It's time to surrender. It's time to let it go. And we have somebody here that is having a hard time learning their lessons. You know, it's it's time to think about what has happened and stop holding on. If somebody is holding on to something. They need to look at things from a new perspective. Um, the hangman can also be a card of punishment. Okay. Um, so somebody, somebody may be punishing themselves or they may be, be being punished for their actions. They could be being sent to rehab or being sent to a mental hospital or something like that. Um, I'm not sure what is going on here. I don't know why those words came out of my mouth, but they did. This could also have something to do with probation and parole, you know, or, or even an ankle bracelet. So, you know, because this is something, somebody, uh... It looks to me like this person is trying to prove something maybe a little bit out of control, doing things that are maybe this this is unorthodox. They may seem a little crazy, okay? So somebody could be, I don't know, some, maybe somebody is being sent to a mental hospital. I don't know who it is, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody in your circle. Okay, it's whoever this is, a lesson needs to be learned and it feels like somebody is having a really hard time and it feels like they're they're losing it. They're losing it.
that somebody needs a time out to go within. Maybe somebody's going to start working at a mental hospital because at the bottom of this deck we had the eight of coins and that is working. So maybe somebody's going to start working at it or in the mental ward or something like that. Or they may take in a patient, you know, or somebody that needs help or something that could something to do with a, uh, somebody that needs some sort of help. Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is somebody that is very thoughtful, somebody that is very intelligent, very authentic and truthful. This person knows the truth, speaks the truth. This is somebody in a, a professional uh, position. So we do have a professional. This person may be making a decision or delivering some sort of facts. This could be an investigator. It could be a lawyer. could be somebody in an in authority. This is somebody that could be a judge. This person could be a police officer. This is somebody that is in an authoritative position that sees clearly somebody that is very wise, um, intuitive as well. We have some life challenges. So somebody is going to see that somebody is struggling. Um, this is a wounded warrior, the Nine of Wands. So this is, and this could be somebody that is on duty that sees something. Now, this is also soul ownership. Somebody is going to have to own up to something. And they've been having a hard time owning up to something. They may have been, this is being victimized, placing blame on others. You can't blame anybody for your life. You choose. You, you choose. That's the facts. The fact is, is you choose what happens. there's that eight of pentacles that's hard work pays off somebody is working really really hard this is a hard worker somebody that is very skilled now this is defensive somebody may be needing to defend themselves okay because this is defensive and this could be a lawyer I don't know if you're dealing with a lawyer or somebody in the law, but you know, somebody may need be be needing to defend themselves. They may need to, may need to hire a lawyer. Um, this is the moment of decision. A decision is about to be made. A choice by a professional. A professional is going to make this decision. This person is wounded. They have to own up to what they did or they have to own up to something with this nine of wands. Some, you know, I feel like going behind bars. That looks like somebody may end up behind bars or in a locked situation. Locked down. Oh, God, taking, now, that's, that's Capricorn or the devil. This is taking back control. Breaking free from an unhealthy situation, something that is toxic. Severing ties. Breaking bonds. Like dealing with addictions. Somebody may need to put in more effort to get away from an addiction. It feels like somebody may be set, being sent away. And this is somebody in your circle by a professional. This is an unexpected choice being made. This is an unexpected choice. This is a card of love heals. This is a card of consequences as well. Somebody may be suffering some consequences for acting in a ridiculous manner. Because that looks a little ridiculous to me. Somebody is being ridiculous. This person is is not being very wise at all. They've lost it. It feels like some, there's a decision. There's, this, there's definitely a decision that is being made. It's, it's a pretty unexpected decision. Okay, with the lovers. It's an unexpected. It's, this is an unexpected choice that is being made. 
and it's it, this decision or choice or whatever is being made is being made because somebody needs to heal. This is a love connection as well. So there could be a love connection that is coming in unexpectedly. If you are single, there there could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that comes into your life. Perf Most likely a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. But somebody could be coming into your life that, or to your partner's life or to some, whoever we're talking about. This is an unexpected choice in love where, you know, there's some sort of connection that is beyond... Um, It's unexplainable. There's an unexplainable uh, attraction. Two people are being brought together from above. It's 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 meant to happen like this. So this decision that is being made is going to bring two people together that are meant to be together. It's part of the plan. Ten of Pentacles. That's that's abundance. That's stability. That's security. Somebody has been going overboard with their addictions. Somebody, it, there could be like a drug overdose or something like that. That sends somebody away. Doesn't have to be. This could be a new home. This could be the family stepping in. Getting somebody involved. Getting professionals involved. I don't know who's reading this is for... But it looks like we have a family dynamic here. It's like the family, uh, there's like a family uh, situation here. We have a, we have a wounded person. This is like post-traumatic stress. It is. This, somebody is, is dealing with a very stressful situation and a professional is making a decision whether this, this, is, this is a real professional or whatever. We have a very intelligent person that is making a choice to you know, bring balance back to a situation. Healing is needed. Oh my God. The Knight of Swords reversed. This is something something getting out of control. This is a runaway train. This is somebody that blames everybody for their own actions. You know, it doesn't want to take hold, be held accountable for anything. This is explosive energy. Somebody that is dangerous. Somebody we have somebody here that has some mental health problems that need to be dealt with immediately. They could get into some sort of accident. They're, they could end up uh, definitely behind bars or in a mental ward. Uh, there's lying, there's thieving, there's robbing, there's betrayal, there's uh, deception. Somebody is, they could get caught stealing. Wow. I mean, this is very heavy energy. I feel as though, uh, oh my God, with this Knight of Swords reverse, somebody is leading being led into a dangerous situation. That's what it feels like to me. Or they're involving themselves in a dangerous situation. This feels like a some sort of crisis. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to scare anybody. Um... It feels like somebody is being seduced. They're being seduced perhaps by somebody, you know, that they trust. But this person is really untrustworthy. you got to be careful who you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a malicious individual who doesn't really care who, who they hurt because they have hidden agendas. I feel like... Uh, we have an untrustworthy individual here that is leading somebody down the wrong path. They're seducing them in some way. But the Seven of Swords is, you know, this person is, this is, this is, uh, has intentions of uh, getting exactly what they want and they don't care who they hurt. Um, this person is very sly.
something is off, something with the temperance reverse, some, it's, something is really, really off. Somebody is dealing with a real sneaky individual. This person has mental health problems. Somebody has mental health problems. We could be dealing with a third party situation here. We could be dealing with three women. Three women that are trying to lead somebody down the wrong path because of their own hidden agendas. We have cheating and we have third party. So somebody may be cheating, just saying. There could be a third party situation here. There's, there's definitely some sort of lust. Okay, there's some sort of uh, sexual attraction that could get somebody in trouble. Just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, be careful. There's consequences from your for your actions. Somebody may get themselves involved with a, a, a few women, and something bad, really, something really bad happens. Okay. Um, now this is taking back control. Restoring control. This is a card of freedom. Freedom could be freedom from obligation. Freedom from uh, a toxic, unhealthy situation where somebody was severely addicted and going overboard. Somebody is definitely acting in an inappropriate behavior. Oh, inappropriately. There's inappropriate behavior here. It's like they're they're partying too much. There's too much partying going on. There seriously could be an overdose. Not trying to scare anybody, but that's what it looks like to me. We're talking about love. I feel as though uh, maybe this is love for I don't know. This is an unexpected choice in love. Like you're gonna, you may you may run into somebody, especially if you're single. You may run into somebody unexpectedly. Sparks fly. There's a deep attraction, especially a sexual attraction, and it's really a lot more than you bargained for. Okay. Just be careful. If you're in a coupled relationship, I feel as though there is some sort of facts that are going to be delivered and it could have to do with cheating. I'm just, I mean, I have to be honest with you. This is facts and these are both cheating cards. So, hey, whatever. I can't, you know. I know I have a few uh, Capricorn relatives that I don't like to give this kind of message to because I, I don't feel like it applies to them. But you never know. You never know. Um, this is consequences. There is going to be some consequences. And I think the consequences are going to be um, sharp. Sharp. Because of that tower card. So, as far as love goes, yeah. I think there is going to be an unexpected attraction with somebody but I feel like this, it, it could be a Gemini, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I really feel like it could be an air sign. I feel like there's going to be a deep, strong attraction with somebody that could really lead you down the wrong path and get you in some serious trouble. So if I was you, I wouldn't do it. It may look real good. It may look very, very, very attractive. But I think that there's a potential for somebody to really go overboard and get themselves caught up in a very shady situation. <laughs> very shady. Uh, doesn't look good at all. You may meet this person through your job. You may meet this person uh, at the rehab. Somebody, If somebody goes to rehab or they go to the hospital or something like that. They may, this person could be met through that, through the hospital. Um, this Ten of Pentacles, though, that's that's that has to do with home. There could be a change in your home, a change in stability. But the Ten of Pentacles is usually, a, you know, abundance and prosperity and legacy. It's it's like the ultimate uh, stability here, the ultimate comfort. Okay, but by the cards around it, you know, you got this is you. Somebody could be robbed at home. Okay, by a thief, a thief, thief home. So I'm just saying, you could get yourself involved with somebody who's a thief. Don't be letting strangers into your home. Anyhow. Um, 
This is an emotional outburst. You could be dealing with a cancer. Doesn't have you got all kinds of people here, but mostly air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The chariot reversed is a lack of control. There's car issues, emotions all over the place, disaster ahead, emotional outburst, something coming to a dead stop, a lack of direction, scatterbrained, and we definitely have somebody here that is losing it. And this person needs help. So, you know, I feel like you th something is definitely going to come to a stop and it's going to be abrupt. It's like somebody's going to get caught. They're going to get caught lying. They are. They could be sent away. Good luck.